sit in a straight back chair and put your right hand by your side. If you're using a phone, use the left hand to listen. And follow these instructions were very simple without effort. No concentration is necessary. Just simply do what I ask you to do. Close your eyes. Look at your eyelids. What do you see when you close your eyes and look at your eyelids? Surely there's little twinkles of light, different shapes moving across the screen of your mind. Is that so? You're not going to go to sleep. You're going to be fully aware. I just want you to look at your eyelids. Something magical happens when you observe those little pixels, whatever you want to call them, crossing the screen of your mind. It has all different colors, little sparkles. This is programming from within. If you just do this and keep your mind just on those little twinkling lights and little colors moving across the screen of your mind. Just be aware of them and you will find that you are in a refuge, meaning you cannot see your thoughts. You can hear my voice, but you've left your thoughts behind. That's very important. This is what's happening. No effort is required for that. You have left your thoughts behind. You are separate from your thinking. You are the thinker, not the thinking. You are in a refuge. Your thoughts cannot bother you here. That's why I call it a refuge. Something also magically is happening. Is it because your mind is no longer caught up in your thought? Your consciousness becomes pure, not solid with the emotion-based thinking. And so it becomes like a lens. And that lens is the reason why light is shining through that lens of your consciousness onto the surface of your mind. And it's beginning to be a program to you. Please do not try to understand this. It's not uncoverable. It's impossible. But it's like magic when you see what's going to happen to you after this. Everything's going to change in a good way. Now, the next thing to do while you're looking at your eyelids and watching that little display is to become aware of your right hand by your side. Become conscious of the first finger of your right hand. And just being conscious of it, just being aware of it, causes a little tingle in your first finger. If you become aware of the first finger, it will answer to your awareness and it if to say, I'm aware that you're aware of me. So the finger will answer the awareness with a little tingle. And that's converting energy from the mind into your body, beginning with your first finger of your right hand. And if you feel that tingle, say quietly to yourself, yes. And if so, go to the second finger, and it will do the same thing. The tingling may remain in the first finger, but you can also go to the second finger, and it will tingle also. And when it responds with a little tingle, to let you know it's there, you're aware of it, and that awareness has had an effect on it with a new kind of energy. At that tingling is an energy from within, counter to stress energy. Now the third finger, same way, and then say yes to yourself if you feel that. And then the pinky finger, the little finger, do that too. And then the thumb, and keep doing this as I talk to you. I'm not going to say much, but I've already told you, you have a pure consciousness, unsullied by emotionally based thoughts, which is your Waterloo, if you'll excuse me saying it that way. And so something is coming in from within you, something pure and good. And when you open your eyes and look around the room, you'll see that the room is brighter. And that's all I'm going to say if you keep doing this for a little while longer. Uh, your body may feel warm and, and your solar plexus may feel opening up. These things could happen, but it's not necessary for the moment. 
just the tingling of your fingers, the first finger, the second finger, and the third finger, and the little finger and the thumb, and just listen to my voice so that you stay in the state for just a few minutes. All I'm going to do is have you open your eyes in this state in a few minutes, and you will find that you're immune to stress, and everything will be brighter, and you find that your angers and hostilities simply disappear. It's almost like something has forgiven you, and it has. And then you find you can be more forgiving and patient with everybody. Now open your eyes and look around you. And you will see that if you're sitting in a room at night, you will notice that the room is brighter. And if you have problems with cigarette or smoking, or even eating, or any problems with drugs, you'll find that you won't want it. You have found the power to overcome the want to. There's a part of you that makes you want to do what you shouldn't. You want to stop smoking or drinking, but something in you that makes you want to, and you don't want to in the struggle. Don't struggle. Just follow the meditation exercise. Just a couple of times a day, that's all. Just wait and see what happens to you. I have suggested nothing. I have not spoken about God. I have maybe implied it, but not spoken about it. There's no religious language. And all you have to do is sit quietly, be still and know. That's exactly what be still and know is. So when you separate from your thinking so you become the thinker, not sullied by the thought, not caught up in the thoughts, you have reprieve. You have the means, have opened yourself to reprieve from all kinds of problems planted since you were a little boy or a little girl. And then call me on my radio program, 800-866-8883, every night, 9 o'clock, West Coast time. Thank you for listening.